look for ways to, to get better, to provide better service for our players, our athletes, to help them be more powerful, to help them stay healthier. The addition of some bio data, some data on our players so that we can try to um, reduce the, uh, the extent of injury, reduce the um, even the occurrence of injury and help them be as strong as possible. And so that's where VERT became a really attractive option for us because um, nobody in volleyball has ever really known, like if I had gone to a coach and said, how many times did that player over there jump in the course of your two, two and a half, three hour practice? Nobody could answer that unless somebody went back and we've done this before and looked at the video and counted by just by hand, by hand tabulation. But this is a whole new uh, and, and vastly improved method to, to track the typical jump volume of, uh, of our athletes. So we've learned, for example, what might happen in a given three game, four game, five game match. Uh, by position, how many times will the setter jump on average? How many times will the middles jump and the outside hitters and the opposites? And so um, a couple of things we're doing, we're, we don't want to be overwhelmed with data. Lots of people do too much and they get they just drown in data, but we wanted to add one thing and uh, found it really effective because now we know on average about what every position will jump. We can tailor our workout volume accordingly and we can also, it's a huge help for somebody who might be rehabbing a knee injury and she might be in a phase where she's allowed 50 jumps. Most of our athletes and our coaches do this too, but we tend to undercount. Well, how many of you jumped so far if we're just trying to keep it in our heads and, and the player will probably say, well, 20 and she might have jumped already 50. So uh, they tend to undercount because they want to work harder and they want to get out there. We have a lot of fun when, we, when we're getting after it in the gym. So uh, for rehab, for volume, uh, for tracking of work volume, for matching our training volume, with our competitive volume so that we're not training for five times the level that we might need to be prepared for in, an, in a competition, in a match. Those have been um, real, uh, really strong additions to our program. Tracking the, the vert numbers for our players, uh, both in competition, so we know about what the demands are in competition. I don't know that any coach or program really could have told you I know exactly what a middle has to prepare for, for a three game, four game, or five game match, or any of the other positions, but we do now know that, and that's great information to have. It helps us train um, more intelligently. Uh, and it's also nice to have the peace of mind that what our intuition is telling us is hopefully right a lot. We can actually verify it objectively. Where if we feel, you know, we didn't do too much today, we did the right amount of volume, work volume, we can verify that. And the VERT technology is nice because we can have it, we have it right off to the side. And after each activity, we can go over and look, all right, how, where are the middles at? How many jumps have they done? Where is this player? She's rehabbing her knee. Are we keeping her under her 80 jumps? Uh, all those things, we can track it on an ongoing, a real-time basis. We don't do that in matches. We don't worry about that at all in competition, but we do. It helps us get, have the peace of mind to know that we're training as smart as we can be uh, following, these, uh, following this bio data. Thank you.